Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the Cisco Unity connection. And in today's lecture, I'm gonna discuss about the schedules and holiday schedules. So how you can uh, create it, how you can assign it, how you can assign the holiday schedules to the active schedules. So let me first log into the Cisco Unity connection and then I'll show you how we can create the active schedules. So I'm just uh, opening it with my admin credentials. So to create or to assign the active schedules, first you need to go to the system settings. Here you can see it under the system settings. You will be able to see this option that is schedules. And just below the schedules, you can see the holiday schedules as well. So we are gonna discuss about these two things in this lecture, schedules and holiday schedules. So let me first click on the schedules and I'm gonna show you how we can create it. Like what is schedule? That means if your business is running on a daily basis, like on the weekdays only from Monday till Friday and Saturday, Sunday is a holiday. So how you can create that schedule and how you can assign that schedule to any call handler or any other things and how you can add the holidays as well if any holiday is coming in between those weeks like from monday till friday if any holiday is coming and your business is closed so how you can create the holidays for the whole year and how you can assign it so i'm going to discuss about the same in this lecture so we are under the schedules right now and let me click on this add new. So once I click on this add new, so uh, it will ask for a display name, like what would be the display name for your schedule so that you will remember it later on once you are assigning this schedule to the other things like to the call handler or any other thing. Okay, so I'm gonna give this display name as a test week or or let me just give weekdays monday till friday because uh there is one weekday schedule already created by default that's why i'm just giving this weekdays monday till friday okay as of now you can see this holiday schedule is also coming up here right so holiday schedule is showing none and holidays this is the this is just the by default, which is already there. As of now, I'm just putting it as a none. I'm not adding anything in this holiday schedule. Once I create any holiday schedule here, and then I will assign it to this particular schedule. So let me just click the save. So as of now, I'm just giving a display name uh, for my schedule. That is weekdays, Monday till Friday, right? So now you can see uh, my display name is there weekdays, Monday till Friday. And now it is asking me to add my office hours, like the business hours, right? So for this business hours, I need to click on this add new. And once I click on add new, it will ask for the few details like new schedule detail. So here I need to add the few details. So uh, I know it, it is like on shift schedule. Let me just add the on shift schedule. Right, so start time would be, uh, let's say it's 5 a.m. till 4, or I can say 5 till 2, 2 p.m. And if you want to create a schedule for the whole day from like for 12 hours, like, like this is for the 12 hours, let me just create it for 12 hours, 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. I can create it as well. It's not just like you need to create it for the eight hours or nine hours or 12 hours or 15 hours. It depends on your business, how you want to create it, like uh, from what time till what time your business is running, right? If your business is running from 8 a.m. till 12 p.m. in the midnight, then you can just click on this end of day. That's why end time is uh, grayed out, right? So as of now, I'm just taking an example of on shift schedule that is 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., right? And active weekdays, I know, active Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I just clicked on this one. So if you want to skip any, like uh, if your business is running from on alternate days, 
like it's only running on active Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, then you can choose from this one as well. And if it's running on all the five days, then you can simply click on this active weekdays. It will select Monday till Friday, right? If it is running active, if it is running every day, not 24 seven, but we can say it is running every day for 12 hours. That would be 12 by 7. So you are adding the timing that is 12 hours, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. But if it is running on a daily basis, then you can just simply click on this active every day. Right. Once you click on this active every day, it will work Monday till Sunday. And then again from Monday, it will start. OK, so as of now, I'm just taking an example of Monday till Friday. So I just choose Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Let me just click on save. So now you can see it is showing created schedule details, right? So let me get back to my schedule, which I created here. You can see this was my name and this is my on shift schedule, like 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This is my on shift schedule, right? Now, the next thing would be here. You can say it is showing holiday schedule as none. Let me show you how we can create the holiday schedule and then we will assign this holiday, that holiday schedule under this schedule, which is week test Monday till Friday. So let me just go back to the same, the system settings and then holiday schedules. So holiday schedules, like if you are, uh, working in India or if you are working in the different region as well, maybe if you are uh, working in North, if your company is based out of North, if your company is based out of South as well, and you want to create a different holiday schedules then you can. If it is on a India, if it is on a like country basis, then you can create different schedules for different countries. Like you can create it for India, you can create it for US and any other countries, right? So let me just click on add new. Now it is just asking me as a display name. Let me create a display name as India holidays. So like we know what are the main common holidays on India, which maybe they are happening it on weekdays or maybe they are on weekends as well. So let me just uh, add few of the India holidays here. Like we can say the holiday name would be, as you know, uh, like the uh, mandatory holidays that is like uh, our Independence Day, and our Republic Day. So these are our mandatory holidays, which should be there. It can be like you can you can add as many holidays as you can, right? So I just added India holiday and now I need to add a holiday name here, right? So let me just add a holiday name here as a Republic Day, right? Republic Day start date. We know that is in Jan 26. Okay, and end date would be the same Jan, we can say Jan 26, right? Daily active hours, that is start time. What would be the start time for this holiday? So it's it should be starting at 12 a.m. That is right. And end time, if you want to put it as end of day, then you can just click on this one. If you want to manually mention it, then you can mention it here as well. Like it's starting from 12 a.m. Then you can just mention 11.59 or 55 it is coming. 11.55 p.m. You can put it like this way as well. So good way is good practice is to just click on this end of day. So this is our first Republic day and then click on save. Okay, so it is saying start and date cannot be less than the current date, unable to create only the invalid date range. So why it is showing invalid date range? Because this start date and end date is showing same, right? So let me just change it like January 26. And then you need to add January 27 because I am using this end of day and let me just click on save. Okay, it is again showing start and end date cannot be less than the current date. Okay, I'm missing something. So the current date today is this 11th of June. That's why it is uh, not letting me to create the holiday schedule for this year. So I need to change it to the 23 first. This one, Jan 26. 
ओके जैन ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो दिस जैन ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व ए एम राइट एंड एंड ऑफ डे लेट मी क्लिक ऑन सेव नाउ नाउ यू कैन सी इट सेव्ड नाउ हॉलीडे इज क्रिएटेड फॉर द रिपब्लिक डे लेट मी क्रिएट अ न्यू हॉलीडे राइट and just click on this one new holiday i am not creating a holiday schedule i am creating a holiday now i am already under the india holiday right here you can see added holiday schedule basics india holiday then i am under new holiday so next holiday let me just put it as uh, independence day okay that is uh, you know in august 15 so i'm just creating it for the 23 calendar so that's why i'm just choosing the calendar of 23rd so 15 23 start time same 12 am end time end of day and click on c so now you can see these two holidays are created so you can create as many holidays as you want right so now let me get back to that holiday schedule basics this one display name we already given earlier india holidays and here you can see i added these two holidays that is republic day and the independence day and it is showing up here right start time 12 am end time end of day correct now let me just click on see one more time okay so now it is saved now let me show you how we can add this holiday schedule under the schedule option right so for that we need to go to this schedules and the schedule which i created earlier that was weekdays monday till friday once i click on this one weekdays monday till friday you will be able to see the holiday schedule option here and under this option once you click on this drop down you will be able to see the holiday schedule which i just created right so here you can see this holidays uh, is by default which is created earlier this is by default actually and this india holidays which i created just now and it is showing up here so now you click on this india holidays and click on save so once you click on save and if this schedule is assigned to some one of the user or it's on the call handler they are using or on the user right so it will this india holidays will be applicable on this schedule as well right so because this business is running from monday till friday and if 26th of jan or 15th of august is is uh, should is on uh, like on the weekdays monday till friday then this holiday schedule will apply and it will give you the other uh, greeting like today is a holiday we are not running our business on 15th of august like that depend on the greeting which you created for those particular holidays not for only that republic day or 15th of august the holiday would be the same like holiday greeting would be same for every holiday it's not like just for the 26th of jan or 15th of august right so i hope now you know how to create these schedules how to create the holiday schedules and how we can how we can uh, add the holiday schedules under the schedules because uh, some of the guys don't know where to add the holiday schedules because they are not able to see the options so now you can add holiday schedules under the schedule option where you are adding your schedule right so i hope you learned something from this video just let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts any queries i will surely answer your queries right so please like share and subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon so that you will be able to receive notifications of all my upcoming videos thank you